Jason, what do you want to be reincarnated as? Um, probably want to be a dolphin in the Caribbean. Sounds good. Not to be free in the ocean would be pretty rad. Right. <laughs> okay, do you have any bad or weird habits? Um, I bite my nails. I, uh, my roommates say I pee on the seat, but I don't think I do. Um, what else? Habit. I don't think what else. Both my arms fall asleep when I, when I sleep. That's kind of a weird. It's not a habit, it's just like a weird thing about me, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's, not, it's weird. Both my, both my arms fall asleep when I sleep. I don't know if I sleep like cross-armed and wake up. It's just like completely dead. That's weird. Um, yeah, it does. I'm like freaking out, like hoping they'll wake up. Um, what else? Oh, I'm messy. I'm a messy person for sure. I live with like five people and uh, they're all pretty clean except for one other guy. But I'm, I'm definitely the dirtiest. This is a terrible trait. I wish I could be really organized. But yeah. Alright, um, what is the weirdest thing that's happened to you Individually by myself? Yeah. The weirdest thing that's ever happened. Uh, I'm thinking paranormal stuff. Uh, I think I was touched by a ghost. Not sexually, <laughs> but normal like we were practicing in this uh, like kind of this weird studio and it was a new practice spot and it we have been told that it was in the Imperial Grounds. I was practicing and I felt like a big tug on the back of my shirt. So, and uh, I turned around, there's nothing. That was really fucking weird. But um, what else? I got a nosebleed in high school. I fell asleep and got a nosebleed like like this. <laughs> and then I woke up and there was like a pool of blood on my uh, desk. I know, it's gross. And I didn't know what to do, so I just turned up. I just stood up and like ran to the bathroom and girls were screaming and stuff. That's my most embarrassing moment. And it's also a weird moment. Did you ever get a lot of those Yeah, I did. I got a lot of them. I still get a lot of those It's terrible. I feel like I can feel a, feel a fright. I, I had like five lucky noses all day. Yeah. It could, be, yeah. it could be a brain tumor. It could be... Uh, <laughs> I'm just oh, kidding. Good. It could be... It's mostly the atmosphere and how dry your nose gets and like the capillaries like pop. Uh, what you do is I've learned to put ice cubes on both sides of my nose because it constricts the blood vessels so they don't move. Yeah, I like this question. <laughs> okay. Um, the song Internet Killed the Video Star, mm -hmm. does, did it have any basis from the song Video Killed the Video Star? Of course. Yeah, it was definitely a play on the song. You know, it was like an updated version. I don't think we, I don't think we created the song going into thinking that, but I mean, Eric obviously wrote the lyrics to it. I produced all the music. Yeah, it's definitely a play and a homage to one of the coolest songs around. Okay, do you enjoy the movie Donnie Darko? Do you watch it a lot, or is it just happens to be? I love the movie. I love Donnie Darko. Again, Eric wrote that lyric, but I, I, it's a cult classic movie, and I still don't know what it's about. Uh, I've watched it like 50 times, but it's so rad. It's just such a deep, weird. Remind me of the rabbit. I remind you of the rabbit? Yeah, not the, not the actual rabbit, but the guy in the rabbit. Oh, really? With the eye? With the bust of Yeah. The Who got hit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know why. I just Thank thought of you. that. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And again, for the, the song Internet Kill the Video Star, uh -huh. the music video, uh -huh. um, how did you guys come up with the kids doing this? Yeah, that was like one of the most amazing days of my life, by far. Uh, me and Eric just kind of brand. It was Eric's idea. He came up with this whole like he wanted to do a zombie thing with kids fighting zombies, and I thought it was awesome. And uh, we did everything from casting to all our family members, all our friends, and we zombified them. And we uh, the two kids were just friends of ours, kids, and uh, we constructed everything from the cardboard guns with toilet paper rolls ourselves. And like, we bought a station wagon from some chick in Santa Cruz. And, uh, painted it black and everything. I mean, it was just so cool. We had an awesome like, location for a friend's house. It was really just like, the stars were aligned and everything went perfectly. The makeup was great. Like, but I mean, and for, for, as for the idea, Eric really came up with a lot of that idea. And I just kind of elaborated with him and did the video and stuff. It turned out fucking awesome. So, it was a long time ago, too. <laughs> um, how did the two of you come together and make music? Uh, 
Um, that story. Uh, I like to say we fell in love, we fell in love at a bar, but it was not that. We, <laughs> we sent music to each other. Um, well, I had a friend who was a guitar tech for Eric's old band, and uh, the guitar tech showed him my music, which was hip hop stuff. And uh, I did like a Jay Z remix album called The Bloody Album. Eric loved it so much he started a MySpace EV and he created a band page on MySpace. It was called the Panic Room at first, which was really good, and then changed it to the Limousine especially. But we started just sending, emailing music back and forth. Like I'd send him beats and he'd sing over it, send him back, I'd send him more beats and back and forth. So we didn't meet for like a full song. I don't know, he just doesn't feel good. And uh, that's how it's uh, Do you feel the new album Flash is drastically different from the first album? I don't feel it's drastic. Drastically different. I feel it's like uh, not as poppy and as, uh, to as topical as the last record was. The last record was really topical about like the technology and stuff that's going on. And a hard time. But this is more. This album is more a love album, a love and loss album. You know? and, uh, it's still electronic influence, but it's like a lot deeper. Like my production skills that you know I've elaborated so much and morphed to something totally different. When I first started, it was like all just like. Really simple beats, which that's what made it cool too. And, uh, and now it's like we record songs with whatever instruments. It's just it's totally different, but it's still got enough scenes all over. All right. Um, the last question. Um, it's about the album cover for Get Sharp. It's actually my second favorite album cover. Second, What's your first? The Cars Candio. Oh, which one's that? It's where it's the pinup girl laying on the car. Yeah, I've seen that. That's an awesome. That's yeah. cool, you like that one. How did That's you, awesome. How did you guys like what it, that? Uh, um, God, I forget what it was. We were, I think I was doing it, or Eric was doing it. Like, and then we just were like, dude, that'd be awesome. We thought it was just an action over just a spit bubble. Spit, question marks, I mean, uh, quotations, <laughs> and that's what it is. But, I mean, and then we, we have a photographer friend, his name's Bo Roulette, he's fucking awesome, man. We just emailed them like, so, hey, we got this idea for a spit bubble. Rad, really zoomed in, spit bubble. And he's like, I was just hanging out with this chick. You do it perfectly. She kept doing like awesome spit bubbles, and he took a photo, and it turned out to be awesome. And we edited ourselves and zoomed in, and it turned out really great. I like it because you can see kind of like the fuzz on her face and kind of lose it. So she's kind of broken out. It was such a perfect bubble. And then on the inside cover of the album, it's me and Eric doing it. And uh, that was a difficult day. Eric, <laughs> Eric was getting nauseous because he didn't like the feeling of doing it. And I had no problem doing it. I was trying to figure out what we were drinking. Something to help the saliva thicken up. It was like Sprite or something. I don't know what that was. It was a long time ago. Yeah, so that's kind of an inspiration.